going to draw the five resonance structures for the cyclopentadienyl cation. This is a ring of five carbons with two double bonds and a formal charge of plus one, meaning that we are missing one electron compared to what cyclopentadienyl normally would be in a neutral case. That is a ring of five carbon atoms with two double bonds. And because it is a cation, we are missing one electron. Give yourself a formal charge of positive one on one of the carbons. Well, preferably the one that, uh, that doesn't have the double bond attached to it. Okay, to create the resonance structures, we're going to push electrons around redistribute them without redistributing the carbons. Now, this is a positive charge, so the electrons in one of the double bonds are going to be attracted in that direction, even if just a little bit. So let's pretend that that double bond moved itself here to satisfy this carbon, complete its octet, but unfortunately, because you've migrated them in this molecule upwards, this carbon now is missing an electron pair. That means you have the same five carbon atoms and your double bonds are here and here, and now you have a plus one formal charge on that carbon. Do you see what we're doing here? We're pushing things around to redistribute where the formal charge is. Keep going. Perhaps this double bond is attracted there, wants to satisfy the octet on that carbon, but now it leaves this one naked and alone. Positive one charge there. Your double bonds were here. Well, that one never got touched, so it's obvious. And this double bond moved to here. Keep on trucking. Let's move this double bond here. Uh, same five carbon atoms. That double bond didn't get touched, but we have a new double bond here. This is the carbon atom with a formal charge of positive one. And then lastly, perhaps we move that double bond around here. Please note that I'm trying to like mm, work my way in a pattern around the molecule slash ion, just so that there's some kind of system to what I'm doing here. Five carbon atoms. That one didn't get touched. And, uh, now we have a double bond here and a positive one charge there. You'll notice that each of the five carbon atoms got a formal charge of positive one at some point. Great. Now, some teachers will want you to put each of these in its own set of square brackets to show that it is an ion. I can't tell you whether or not your teacher wants it. Go find out. It's not wrong to do it. It's just how we show charges in Lewis structures. But what you do need is this type of arrow. It's a single line with a double-headed arrow on either end. This is the resonance arrow. It is different from the equilibrium arrow, and it's different from the reaction arrow, which only goes in one direction. This one shows that the none, there's no chemical bonds breaking and forming between two atoms. Well, I mean, we're breaking pi bonds, but all the atoms are still connected to each other. You're only redistributing the electrons amongst them. All of these five carbon atoms are in the same positions. It's only the distribution of electrons that's changing. Great, there's your five resonance structures. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.